All right, cool. Um, what are we gonna say? Uh, Mr. President, Mr. President, oh my, Mr. President. Hey. <laughs> That's the White House. Today we're racing from Joey's front yard all the way to Dulles International Airport. I'm gonna be taking the Silver Line, which gives you direct access to the airport from the heart of DC in Madison. I'm gonna be taking the tried and true cab to the airport. To raise the stakes, it's rush hour. There's gonna be traffic on the road. When we get done, we'll recap and we'll tell you the pros, the cons, everything in between so that you can make the right decision for you when you're headed to the airport. Are you ready to go? Uh, I was born ready, dude. All right, goodbye. <laughs> Another race, another day, another day, another race. Can I get arrested for running to the park in front of the White House? I hope not. Wait a minute, wait a minute, where am I going? Where am I going? Uh, the nearest station for the Silver Line is Fargate West, Fargate West. Fargate West is a three minute walk in the direction I'm already heading, cool. First order of business, we gotta find a cab. Let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, slight problem. I don't see any cabs. I do not want to be waiting for 15, 20 minutes. Mark has a direct line on the new Silver Line, so we are going to switch to tried and true Uber. Here we go. Look at all that traffic. There's no way Madison's getting there before I am. No shot. All right, the street light is turning. Uh, hold on, I think I see it. Beautiful, let's go. I've never used the metro here before. I wonder if it's like New York's. I think my Uber took a wrong turn. I am a little worried. He's not gonna be able to find me. So this is the downside to taking an Uber or a cab. A train schedule is pretty consistent, but there are a lot of variables outside of your control. Whenever you get a car or a cab, Uber, Lyft, not for nothing. This is why public transportation is so important. Hi, from Madison. Well, my dick son, you go to Dulles? Yes. Oh. I actually have no idea which way I need to go. We're at Farragut West, yes. I need to go to Dulles, I need to go to Dulles. Where is Dulles on this map? Uh, 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 I'm freaking out, I'm freaking out. I'm gonna ask somebody because I don't know what's going on. Hello. Hello. Uh, I'm trying to get to Dulles through the Silver Line. Yeah, do you have a car already? No, I don't. We'll be over there to teach you to get a car. Okay, great, thank you. Okay, I'm stressed. Uh, I've never been exposed to this subway system before. The machines are not as intuitive as they are in New York. I got confused. Things aren't looking too good for me. But alas, I'm here. Man, oh man, is it bad. It is rush hour. People are commuting home. It doesn't matter if you're going to the airport, it doesn't matter if you're going anywhere else. If you're going on during rush hour, expect a lot of people here. To that point, at least compared to like a New York City subway car, I feel like this car is a tiny bit smaller than like the A train that I'm used to back in Brooklyn. From the looks of it, there doesn't seem to be too much traffic going the way that we're headed, meaning the way that Madison is also headed. Imagine if she was just like in a car right next to me. Hi, Madison. Hey, Mark gonna beat you to the airport. <laughs> now we've made it onto the highway, so we're rocking and rolling, traffic is eased up, and it should be a pretty straight shot from here. I think if you have luggage, like taking an Uber is just so easy because you're in a car, there's room. If I had like a roller bag with me or like a checked bag especially, taking the train would be anxiety inducing. <laughs> so even though I don't have luggage, something to consider. A seat has become available. Nice. I've got an entire room myself, and I would say it's pretty spacious. You got room for a few suitcases if you want, but just keep in mind when you're coming from the heart of DC during rush hour, this thing is packed. How comfortable are these seats, you ask? Well, I can tell you. They've got cushions. Where I come from in the land of New York City, the seats are as hard as a rock. I wouldn't say it's clean in terms of cleanliness, because no subway car can truly be that clean. But in terms of style, it's pretty neutral, pretty non-stylized. I dig what DC has going on here. I buy it. We're almost there. The ride has been really great. It's just been very chill. Once we got on the highway, there's been no traffic, which is incredible. As someone who flies into and out of New York City area airports, this has been such an easy process to get to the airport. 
All right, we're the next stop. I don't know where Madison is. I have no gauge of time on how she's doing traffic-wise. Never mind. I can tell that there's not a lot of traffic outside. Oh. Go. Time to find the exit. I don't like running on a subway platform, so I'm gonna not. I gotta get to departures area two, and I gotta get there before Madison does. That's not where I have to go. Oh god, that was easy. We're cruising along, we're cruising along, we're cruising along. I'm at a crossroads, where do I go, where do I go? Terminal. Terminal, it says terminal, not drop off area. I didn't plan this far in advance. I'm going right. We're going outside. I think I'm here first. I think I might be here first. My hopes and dreams have all been crushed for Madison has won the race to Dulles International Airport. Of course you won. You just got dropped off right here and I had to go from all the way over there to all the way right here. All right, you won. You winner, won. winner, chicken dinner. Let's get into it. So what was your experience like getting to a taxi from Lafayette Square, which is right in front of the White House? There were none. There were no cabs, there were no taxis. After about 10 minutes, I got an Uber. But what about you? How was finding the train station? It was a three minute walk in terms of getting in, getting a pass and getting down. Not intuitive. How was the train once you were on it? Is it nice, it's new? It's a little bit smaller than like a New York City subway car, but that could be due to the fact that there were a lot of people on the train. What about cost? How much is it to take the train here? One ticket, at least from Farragut West Station to Dulles during rush hour was $6. Well, that's significantly less expensive than the $66 Uber that it took to get here. All in all, I'll say the Silver Line's a great way to get to Dulles if, uh, you know, you don't have that much baggage with you. If you do, know that it'll clear up. Just bear in mind, it's gonna take you a couple extra minutes to get from that station to departures, as opposed to being dropped off right here. Well, thank you for coming on this crazy journey with us. I don't think it was that crazy, but thanks for coming on this journey with us. And watch this space for the next race. See ya. See ya.